Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to make a monitor stand for my new 24-inch smart TV. This is a Vizio Model D24F 24-inch smart TV that's 1080p, and it comes with these small legs that snap into the bottom. But I'm going to be using this also as a computer monitor, so I'm going to make a custom stand that will raise it off my desk to eye level. I created a set of cutting templates for this project, and this template is for the base of the stand, and it's going to have an upright piece that's mounted here with three screws. And the upright piece is about 16 inches tall. It has a slot at the top for height adjustment and a cutout here for access to plug in the power cable. And I'm going to cut out this mounting bracket that gets mounted to the back of the TV. And the TV has four mounting holes that are 10 centimeters apart on center all the way around. And it's got a hole here so I can mount it to the stand. And I'm going to make my own knob to tighten everything down. These templates will be available for download over on my website. Although you may have to make adjustments if you don't have this particular model of TV. I'm making this project out of 3 quarter inch walnut and I'm going to get started by cutting out the base of the stand. For this upright piece, I'm going to cut the overall shape over on the bandsaw, and then I'm going to make these two interior cuts for the slot and the cutout over on the scroll saw. to make this mounting bracket that goes on the back of the TV. Now this TV has mounting holes that require metric M4 screws and the ones I have are 16 millimeters long which are too short to go all the way through three quarter inch material. So I'm going to have to drill some counter bores for these mounting holes that will recess the screws far enough so they protrude out the other side about a quarter inch so they can screw into the TV. And I'm also going to put a threaded insert in the middle of the bracket. I'm going to cut out this height adjustment knob. I'm going to drill a hole in the center about halfway through and the hole's going to be a little smaller than a standard quarter 20 bolt and that's going to allow me to put some epoxy in there and screw in the bolt so it's perpendicular to the knob and then I'm going to cut off the bolt at the right length so when I tighten this to the mounting bracket the bolt doesn't protrude and hit the TV in the back.
I've got all the parts finished with some spray lacquer and this walnut looks just beautiful. Let's put it together and mount the TV. Here's the finished walnut TV monitor stand and it turned out just like I expected. Uh, it's much better than those little legs that came with the TV. I like how I can adjust the height. I can also tilt it from side to side if I want to and just turn it if I need a different angle. Uh, you could also uh, go a little bit further and add a tilting mechanism that would tilt it back and forward uh, which would be pretty cool but that's not really something that I need. If you like this project, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, if you have the same TV or something similar, you can download my PDF of the cutting templates over on my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.